Did you know that spiders can defeat not only insects, but also frogs and even snakes? And while a good part of spiders is completely harmless, in many countries there are extremely dangerous individuals which can do incredible things, especially in a fit of rage. In this episode, you'll learn lots of interesting facts about different spiders and see what these arthropods can do in a fit of rage. Let's go! In most countries of the world, this creature is known as a camel spider because of its desert habitat. Some people also call it a wind scorpion because of its high speed of movement. However, in some countries, these creatures are called solifuges. Scientists know about a thousand species from this order, although they all have many features in common. For example, all solifuges are extremely voracious. In captivity, a camel spider can eat until it bursts, literally. At the same time, camel spiders are very mobile and almost all of them are nocturnal predators. Among subspecies, there are both carnivorous and omnivorous spiders. They eat termites, bees, black beetles, and other small arthropods but can also eat larger animals, such as lizards. Camel Spider in Action A camel spider usually wins in fights with scorpions of equal size. A scorpion is grabbed with lightning speed, held firmly, torn apart, and kneaded with its jaws. However, if there are too many opponents, a camel spider won't be able to resist all of them at once. But frogs don't have many chances against such a spider. If a camel spider is very hungry, it won't refuse to snack on amphibians. The size allows it to engage in such fights without fear, because the majority of camel spiders grow 5 to 7 centimeters in length. By the way, some species of camel spiders are known in California as hive destroyers. At night, camel spiders sneak into the hive and destroy a huge number of sleeping bees in one fell swoop. However, this strategy has a disadvantage. We shouldn't discount the greediness of camel spiders. With swollen belly from the abundance of swallowed food and not being able to leave the hive, the spider can just wait for its fate, and the bees waking up in the morning truly take revenge on the offender. Tarantula in Action Speaking of stinging insects, wasps, especially large ones, can fight back most equal-sized creatures, and sometimes the big ones get it. Look, this wasp was able to survive in the same aquarium with a tarantula for a long time. While the tarantula is considered the king of the spider world, this wasp even managed to strike a few serious blows but the size was decisive in this battle. The giant spider came out the winner. Tarantulas are some of the strongest and most ruthless fighters in the spider world. Since we're talking about battles between creatures of different species, it's worth noting that a tarantula can handle even the largest scorpions. The giant millipede also can't oppose a tarantula. By the way, in most of these aquarium battles, insects are not eager to fight each other. It may mean that in the wild they'd simply go off in contrary directions. Well, it's a very reasonable decision, considering that an angry tarantula is capable of much. Even large predators are afraid of tarantulas. Look, no matter how strong are the hunting instincts of this cat, it doesn't dare to touch the tarantula, limiting itself to studying it from a distance. By the way, did you know that tarantulas are not as dangerous to humans as they may seem? Yes, they look very creepy, and besides, tarantulas are venomous, but their venom is not a threat to human life. However, the same cannot be said about the Black Widow, a truly dangerous spider. Stay tuned and you'll learn some interesting facts about this arthropod and see some battles involving it, as well as learn about the most venomous and dangerous spider on the planet, and see what it can do in a rage. Let's move on! So why is the Black Widow so popular? No, not the one from the Marvel movies, I'm still talking about spiders. This species is considered one of the most venomous in the world. It's believed that the venom of the Black Widow is several times stronger than the venom of some snakes. But it's all about the females. The males and young spider bites are harmless, not only for humans but also for animals. Like most spiders, the Black Widow hunts for insects. Sometimes it eats mice and lizards, and rarely it eats snakes caught in the net. In deserts, Black Widows live on a diet of scorpions. Its web is known to be the strongest compared to other spider species. Black Widows do not weave pretty nets. Instead, they create an elastic weave of thick threads. Black widows are not aggressive, but they can bite when disturbed. If trapped, it's unlikely to bite, preferring to play dead or hide. Bites are possible when the spider is cornered and cannot escape. The black widow can bite a human to defend itself. It's happening when the female spider is pressed or cornered. Black widow in action. You'll be surprised, but such a venomous spider has many natural enemies in the wild. Some species of birds may eat these spiders, but accidentally. 
Birds can hunt the black widows only in the most extreme case, because these spiders can cause an upset stomach. But birds can hardly get entangled in the web, and black widow's web is so strong that it can hold even a snake. This amateur video shocked many users shortly after it was uploaded on the internet. Could the black widow really finish off the snake? By the way, it's not just any snake, but a coral snake, which is also venomous. In fact, this battle should have been finished in one second. The creature which bit first would automatically become the winner of the fight. It would only have to wait for the venom to take effect. But the spider had the tactical advantage of the web. The author of the video, who had such fights right outside his house, can only be sympathized. How many more venomous creatures are crawling around his house? As for the mantis, the black widow is their favorite dish. Unless this dish manages to defeat them first, of course. This video was shot completely by accident. The battle unfolding in the garage of the cameraman in the American state of Oklahoma. In terms of dueling rules, it's quite interesting as the opponents have to fight in the air. Who won in this fight? It's hard to say exactly, but most viewers would think the mantis did. Want to see a battle of equal opponents? Then you should definitely see the battle between the Black Widow and the Brazilian Wandering Spider. It didn't last very long. The Brazilian Wandering Spider quickly understood the danger of the approaching venomous enemy and struck first. By the way, did you know that the Brazilian Wandering Spider is the most venomous spider in the world? Yes, the palm of victory belongs to it. This spider rarely attacks humans, but if it happens, the lethal outcome will be almost inevitable if the first aid is not provided in time. One of the most dangerous arachnids in the world chose the tropical forests of South America as their habitat. Body length of the Brazilian wandering spider is about 5 centimeters and the length of its legs is 15 centimeters. However, there have been larger individuals with 22 centimeter long legs. These spiders hunt mostly at night. By the way, this spider has received its name deservedly. Scientists have not determined certain constant natural habitat of these spiders because the spider is always wandering. Unpleasant for humans is the fact that sometimes these spiders enter houses. The Brazilian wandering spider likes to eat bananas and does not miss the opportunity to climb into the box with these fruits. Actually, this spider has another name due to its banana addiction. It's the banana spider. However, mainly Brazilian wandering spiders hunt other spiders and insects, and also they attack birds and lizards that are larger than they are. Wandering Spider in Action the Brazilian Wandering Spider must be put up against serious opponent, so I suggest you take a look at its fight against the dangerous, venomous wasp called Pepsis. With each successful sting attack, the spider becomes more and more disoriented in space and in the end cannot withstand the wasp's attacks. At the end, when it seems that the wasp wins and the spider falls with its legs up, it manages to bite the insect and the wasp stings it one last time. The spider unclenches its legs and lets the wasp go away but remains paralyzed. The wasp almost immediately begins to feel the effects of the venom. It can't fly away and has trouble moving. Who came out the winner here? It's worth looking at the situation in perspective. The spider will stay alive but will be paralyzed for a long time, while the wasp will not be able to survive after the bite of the Brazilian wandering spider. Epic Battle And what about the duel with the mantis? The green hunter managed to defeat the black widow but can it stand up to the world's most venomous spider? In a fight with the Brazilian wandering spider, the mantis should rely on cunning. It must get as close to the spider as it can and remain unnoticed, using hypnotizing swaying motions. But it fails to deceive its enemy, and the animals start fighting. Theoretically, the mantis doesn't become helpless, its sharp teeth can still slice through the spider's belly, but it's too late because the Brazilian wandering spider has managed to make its venomous lunge at the very beginning of the battle. A few more seconds pass and the mantis becomes completely helpless. The Brazilian wandering spider has won thanks to its powerful venom, and now the mantis will stay with it as lunch. Who are you rooting for in this epic battle? Let me know in the comments. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.